tada ke bitse the drive of Ford BB Auto Bologwan and i must say the staff there is ever so cool and like Ford and Mazda dealerships have the friendliest staff unfortunately car wise is not about making friends it's about cars and yes this new Ford Ranger is a game changer it's been a long time coming my feet but finally after all the sneak peeks reveal pictures speculations confirmation and many articles we got to see the next generation for range welcome to carwise a channel to help you choose your car wisely in this video i'm going to share with you the review of the next generation for range perfect let me give you a moment and look at this car just have a look this is genuine next generation stuff and just by looking at this car we can comfortably say the isuzu dmax nissan navara and toyota hilux are behind the cab I'm going to say this as it is and get it out of the way and carry on with the Ford range. We all know the Toyota executives won't have emergency meetings. I mean, guess South Africa more and the Hilux badge will continue to top the sales charts regardless. But we must be honest, Buffett. From the digital instrumentation, infotainment system, onboard technology, safety, option list, creature comfort to off-road ability smash to smooth shifting powerful engines, Objectively in these areas, this new Ford Ranger is the new benchmark. If you want to argue, send your location in the comments. This new Ford Ranger model offers updated versions of the proven 2-liter single turbo engines in the base model, XL and XLT double cab variants. This configuration sees 125 kilowatts of power and 405 Nm of torque being available along with the choice of a 6-speed manual gearbox or a 6-speed automatic gearbox. Marana, my focus was obviously on the top of the range while track which may either come with the 2-liter bi-table engine that produces 154 kilowatts of power and 500 meters of torque with a 10-speed automatic gearbox or the 3-liter V6 turbo diesel engine with the same gearbox but producing 184 kilowatts of power and 600 meters of torque. This new Ranger has an upgraded chassis on a wheelbase 50mm longer and a track 50mm wider than the previous generation. The exterior of the new Ranger has been toughened up with the design language borrowed from its American F-150 brother. Like I've just mentioned, you get 50mm more bulky from the slightly extended wheelbase and track width. The seat lamp LED daytime running lights as seen on the Everest make their return. The front grille has been redesigned with a strong horizontal bar which continues down the sides of the vehicle through a strong shoulder line. Around the back, Ford has made some great quality of life improvements that anyone who uses them for more than just cutting kids will appreciate. Even if your plane takes it, the little ones don't have to jump onto the wheel to clamber into the load box, thanks to an integrated step behind the rear wheels. Nice touch, Ford. Nice touch. There's an assortment of other features, all integrated into the vehicle so as not to feel tacked on. Ford said they listen closely to what existing Ford Ranger owners want, and my fate with real issues, I believe in Ford now. First off, there are outlets for the internal 400 watts inverter in the box. The tailgate comes adorned with rubber ruler on the side of the clip for easy measuring and you'll find a few spots to clamp things down, a buggy made for me, not like a van of Ford shows that. There are even slots in the walls of the load box to help with storage management if you really care about keeping things tied. The cabin of the next generation Ford Ranger follows in the footsteps of the next generation Everest. Note how I said next generation Buffett. It really feels like it. It's not just claiming to be because it's new. It's the next generation indeed. Depending on the trim level that you choose, you either get a 10.1 or 12 inch vertical touchscreen infotainment system for controlling settings and features. I almost said a tablet in the car, but it's a tablet in the car anyway. The instrument cluster has been digitized as well. These two features will probably be enough to call this Ranger the next generation, but it has more to offer. When I just watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe and share. Both the XLT and the Wildtrack have a camera up front but the Wildtrak stepped this up with a 360-degrees camera. Those extensions of the wheelbase and track width are also apparent inside. 
The cabin is roomier in front and the passengers at the back shouldn't feel too cramped either. I also feel it's important to mention the quality of the material used in this cabin. It felt premium, even in the mid-spec XLT. Elsewhere in the cabin you'll find plenty of places to put things. There's a spot in the middle that supports wireless charging, there are USB ports for wired charging, cup holders in front of the vents as well as two more in the center. I honestly think this new Ranger lives up to its hype. It brings new levels of refinement and technology to the segment. I can tell you right now, there's no buggy on sale that's as advanced and good looking as this range. The pricing of this car is quite competitive, but bear in mind the price excludes the service plan and you may pay close to 20k for a 6 year or 90,000 km service plan. I've decided to break down the cost of ownership for the top of the range while track. At least you'd have some hope for lower derivatives if this one is out of reach. High to low is always better. Now, the next generation Ford Ranger 3 liter V6 double cab retails for 953,500 rands, and if you finance it over 60 months with no deposit and balloon, at an interest rate of 12%, your monthly repayment will be 21,210 rands. Insurance for the wild track won't come cheap, as it's regarded as a high risk, so you'll pay plus minus 4,800 on your premiums. With its 80 liters fuel tank, you will need around 1,700 for a full tank and your cost of ownership per month is calculated at 27,722 rands as far as feet, Based on my time with the Ranger, I feel confident to say Ford has found the winning formula. The goalposts have moved perfect. Competitors will have to dig deep to match. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel for more car wise content to help you choose your car wisely. Shop shop.